Elon Musk's The Boring Company's Vegas Loop to Reach Chinatown On a plot of land located close to Chinatown, The Boring Company has made a purchase with the intention of developing a Vegas Loop station in the near future. The company Open Dash, which is an associate of TBC, or The Boring Company, paid Fairground Drive Retail, which is an affiliate of HMV Group, $3.7 million to acquire a plot of land that was 1.4 acres in size. According to the property records of Clark County, the land transaction took place in the month of July. But is The Boring Company worth the time and money of Elon Musk? Let's find out in today's episode and let's take a closer look at Elon Musk's $7 billion worth venture. Stay tuned. Hello everyone, welcome back to Elon Musk Evolution, where we bring you the most recent news about Elon Musk and his multi-billion dollar companies, space news, and the latest science and technology. But before we begin, make sure you subscribe to our channel and click the bell icon so you don't miss any of our amazing videos. Located in the Chinatown or Asian district of Las Vegas, the Boring Company has successfully completed the acquisition of a 1.4 acre plot of land. The location, which can be found at 3682 South Valley View Boulevard, is going to be the location of a new station that will be situated on the enlarged Vegas Loop. The purchase of the Boring Company was revealed by HMV the previous week. There are two structures on the land and it is currently zoned for its manufacturing potential. As a result, according to reports by BizNow, the Boring Company would most certainly be required to obtain zoning authorization before building can commence on the site. Object Dash LLC, which is a subsidiary of the Boring Company, ended up purchasing the property from the HMV Group, which is situated in California. Multiple retail and mixed-use buildings are either in the planning stages or are already under construction in the Chinatown District, which is where HMV has been making significant investments. In addition, HMV is the owner of the land where the second Chinatown and Asian District Vegas Loop stop is going to be constructed. This location may be found at 3529 Spring Mountain Road. The retail and mixed-use developments in Las Vegas' thriving Chinatown Asian District are directly adjacent to the site that was sold to the Boring Company. In light of the fact that the Vegas Loop Station would eventually bring customers and residents to the doorstep of the Spring Mountain Vegas Loop Retail Development and Valley View Vegas Loop Retail Development projects, it was a logical decision to work together with them. And it's anticipated that building on both will start in the latter half of the year 2024, as stated by Maxwell Nuremberg, director of HMV. In accordance with the extension plans for the Vegas Loop that were approved during the second quarter of this year, the Boring Company intends to construct two stations in the Chinatown section of the city. It is expected that the Boring Company will construct 93 stations around the Vegas Loop which will allow passengers to visit prominent tourist locations, such as the Strip and Allegiant Stadium. In addition, the Vegas Loop will make stops in nearby neighborhoods, offering rides to residents of those areas as well. Once it is finished, the Vegas Loops are expected to be able to convey more than 90,000 passengers every hour, according to estimations provided by TBC. So what exactly is The Boring Company like? Let's take a deeper dive into Elon Musk's $7 billion enterprise. In light of the fact that humans have been excavating underground tunnels for thousands of years, Musk's notion appears to be somewhat paradoxical at first glance. How could a man who has spent a significant amount of time working on technologies of the next generation concentrate on something that we already are quite good at? The straightforward response is efficiency. Although it is possible that we are able to construct tunnels more effectively than we have in the past, this does not necessarily follow that we are able to do it in an efficient or cost-effective manner. An excellent illustration of this is the so-called Big Dig project in Boston, which consisted of tunneling the majority of the highway networks that ran through the downtown area of Boston. Due to inefficiencies and cost overruns, the total cost of that project was increased to $22 billion and it took 15 years to finish. However, the final result was of doubtful quality, despite the fact that it had a generally beneficial effect overall, and this is even more unfortunate. The Boring Company has high hopes that it will be able to avoid construction disasters similar to the Big Dig. It is not a case of recreating the wheel, rather the difference lies in the fact that they are employing conventional underground mining in a more effective manner. To be more specific, the Boring Company works toward the goal of significantly accelerating the rate at which tunnels can be excavated and doing it at a significantly lower cost than is currently practicable. Using its own resources, it will assist with the excavation of the tunnels and it will also incorporate certain high-tech elements. From the beginning, Elon Musk's attempts have never failed to attract the curiosity of those who are interested in the sphere of innovation and ambitious ideas. In the case of The Boring Company, for instance, Musk's goal of solving traffic congestion and redefining transportation is demonstrated by the company's achievement. 
The establishment of this tunnel construction marvel took place in 2017, and according to Investopedia, it has recently achieved a spectacular estimated worth of $7 billion. In order to better understand this innovative endeavor, let us look at it from four different perspectives. The starting point, dealing with the problems of traffic. The Boring Company was established by Elon Musk as a direct response to his profound annoyance with the never-ending bottleneck that is presented by the traffic in Los Angeles. Musk, the visionary entrepreneur who has a proven track record of addressing global issues, was of the opinion that it was time to tackle the issue of traffic problems underground. He came up with the first idea for the project after he became aware of the limitations that are inherent to the conventional two-dimensional transit network. As a consequence of this, the idea of tunneling in order to build an alternative transportation system came into existence. The tunnels going beyond the typical. According to Investopedia, the primary objective of the Boring Company is to accelerate the tunneling process in order to make the establishment of the substantial underground network financially feasible. In the beginning, they utilized conventional tunnel boring equipment. Nevertheless, they have since built their very own innovative technique. Already bringing about a revolution in tunnel construction in the Prufrock machine, which has the capacity to mine around one mile every week. The Prufrock 3, which has the capacity to dig up to seven miles per day, is the most modern machinery that they've acquired. Tunneling, which was traditionally a method that required a lot of time and money, is being transformed into a method that is both speedy and cost-effective for urban transit as a result of these improvements. What the future holds for tunneling projects? The Boring Company's physical achievements are as noteworthy. In 2021, the Las Vegas Convention Center Loop became operational, making it one of the most significant projects that they've undertaken. Conference attendees can take advantage of high-speed mobility thanks to this tunnel loop, which is 1.7 miles in length. There are plans to extend the tunnels in Las Vegas to a distance of 68 miles, which indicates that the system has the potential to revolutionize urban transportation. Their goal is to connect cities and make travel faster, secure, and efficient. The LVC loop is just the beginning of their journey toward this goal. Looking ahead, difficult challenges. The ambitious goal that Elon Musk has set for himself goes far beyond the objectives that have been accomplished in the past. The Boring Company may undertake tunneling projects in other locations such as Miami and San Bernardino County, in addition to connecting a number of different regions inside Las Vegas. A tunnel that is two miles long and runs beneath the Miami River has been proposed by Musk for a price of $30 million, which is one quarter of the estimated cost of the local transportation authority. A similar concept is currently being considered for the construction of a tunnel that would connect the Rancho Cucamonga Manga Metrolink slash future Brightline West Rail Station in California to the Ontario Airport. The tunnel would be approximately four miles long. In the event that these projects are successful, they have the potential to alter the way in which we think about the infrastructure of urban mobility. In a world where having to deal with traffic congestion on a daily basis is a struggle, the Boring Company is a beacon of hope. This $7 billion company has become an essential player in the future of urban transportation as a result of Elon Musk's unrelenting pursuit of novel concepts and willingness to disrupt the status quo. Having tunneling technology that is more efficient and a network of tunnels that is always developing, the Boring Company is prepared to revolutionize the way in which we move around within cities and beyond. The path that lies ahead, or perhaps we should call the tunnel, is exciting and brimming with possibilities. In what ways does the Boring Company vary from rivals? In an effort to enhance the process as a whole, the Boring Company concentrated on several different aspects of tunnel digging. The following are some examples of the advancements. New Tunnel Boring Machines or TBMs According to the Boring Company, the functioning speed of existing TBMs is extremely slow, almost 14 times slower than the movement of a snail. This company is working on a brand new TBM that will significantly reduce the amount of time spent digging, despite the fact that it is still quite sluggish, only slightly faster than a snail. The new TBM is powered by electricity and produces three times the amount of power as its predecessor. TBMs today spend approximately half of their time tunneling and the other half of their time creating supports. New support systems are being developed. This is something that the Boring Company wants to work on developing so that their TBM can perform both at the same time. Tunnels that are narrower Some of the tunnels that are constructed by the new TBM are only 14 feet broad, which is half the size typical modern one-lane tunnels. 
tunneling will become three to four times more affordable as a result of this. Over the course of nearly half a century, there has been no research and development carried out in the field of tunneling. For the purpose of accelerating the process even further, the Boring Company intends to devote a large amount of resources to the development of new techniques and pieces of equipment. So what concerns still need to be addressed at this point? The excavation of new transportation tunnels presents a number of challenges, some of which have been addressed by the Boring Company, while others have not been addressed by the company. Some of them include vibrations and earthquakes. The Boring Company tells customers that its tunnels are too deep for any major tremors to be felt. According to this theory, tunnels do not actually sustain damage during earthquakes and cannot be the source of such damage, hence it does not consider this to be a problem. It is possible for the boring company to recycle the dirt that is produced during excavations into bricks and paving stones because of the technologies that it has developed. In addition to that, it is looking into the possibility of utilizing these bricks for a piece of the tunnel floor. Likewise, is the boring company useful in other areas? As an alternative to transporting humans, such a system might also be utilized for the transportation of commodities. Take into consideration a system in which the conventional cargo holders are placed into a rail car, which will then convey them to their destination, where they are then loaded onto another truck to be transported to their ultimate destination. We can also envision certain applications for tunnels that are not related to transportation that are both inexpensive and quick. There would be a benefit to being able to put hundreds of miles of high-capacity, high-voltage cables underground, which is something that we are considering doing, for instance, since we are considering greatly extending the electrical grid. At the same time as they are unsightly, overhead lines are a possible hazard as they are expensive to maintain, and they are subject to weather that can cause power outages. It is possible that these utility tunnels might also be used to transport commodities as well as water and gas pipes, ideally hydrogen gas, and they could even be utilized to transport vehicles. The construction of tunnels might also be beneficial for certain mining ventures. So if the Boring Company were to achieve its technological objective of greatly lowering the cost per mile of building a reinforced tunnel at the speed of 7 miles per day, then perhaps we would be able to reconsider the possibility of utilizing tunnels for a variety of uses. The fact that the corporation has not accomplished its objective is beyond any reasonable doubt. The question is, how are they doing? To put it simply, it is confusing. It's not quite as difficult as blowing up and crashing ships, but the objectives are more challenging than we believe Musk had expected they would be. Having said that, do you think the Boring Company will revolutionize the transportation industry in the next five years? Share your thoughts in the comment box below, and that's where you can suggest topics you'd like to see next. Please subscribe and don't forget to like today's video, and we'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.